Welcome to Gigs and Guitars, and this week is all about the pub band I play in called The Cooper Collective. <music> Cooper Collective is uh, basically a pub band that myself and Norman formed about a year ago and the intention was to create a band that uh, essentially played to an incredibly high standard um, and that's what we, we aim to achieve really. So what we did was uh, we had a few jams, uh, we worked out roughly how we wanted to do it so it was going to be five piece with importantly keyboards. Uh, so I think it fills out the sound nicely, it gives you more scope to do more things. And that was essentially how, how it all came about. Um, we uh, basically met with Christy the singer at a pub in Blackpool where we discussed it further. Christy joined the band, uh, which was really, really good. Uh, great vocalist, singer, lots of experience. And uh, adding to that, we quickly ended up with uh, Amanda, who I've played most of my sort of band work uh, in duos, five piece bands over the last like 20, 30 years or so. And she came over to do the, the, the important part, which is the keyboards. But in addition to that, some incredibly good backing vocals as well. I've got Michael on drums. Michael's very experienced, plays in uh, another band called The Secrets in the Blackpool area. And we're fortunate enough to have Michael who came along too. <laughs> right. Where are we off? Uh, we're off to the uh, to the venue at Polton the Fylde. Uh, I've got the car loaded up, just finished work less than an hour ago, so it's been a little bit of a, a rush round. Um, but uh, we're meeting the band there in the next sort of, uh, li well, literally a few minutes. It's extremely local, is this gig tonight, which is really, really good because it's only a five minute drive away for us. But uh, anyway, we shall see you there. So there you have it, the band was quickly formed and within about six weeks of uh, setting the band up we did uh, what we would sort of loosely describe as a little bit of a showcase at Paul Franklin's birthday party at uh, a large club in Blackpool with uh, several other bands. It was a really good day and we basically rocked out two really good tracks, uh, one very famous Fleetwood Mac track and we did uh, Christine Aguilera which is a track called Fighter uh, which caused me a little bit of concern, really, at the beginning of the project. I thought, how are we going to do this? There's a lot of production gone into that track. How are we going to make this work? And to be honest, I'm really, really proud of the results. I really am. Uh, a technical kind of track, lots of vocals. Uh, Amanda and Christy work really well together on it. And to be honest, we did pull the, the, uh, the cat out of the bag with that one. Um, and it absolutely rocked and it's still in the set now and to be honest i love playing it it's a really really good track right i've arrived at the venue there goes norman through the door um yeah it's dead busy in the pub tonight football match is finished but uh, we're just loading up so i'm going to do that now probably take about 10 minutes or so see you soon from that point onwards it was basically rehearsal 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 practice at home practice at home practice at home and then rehearse what you've learned as a full five piece and that that method really works really well a very very diverse set indeed which is what we wanted to do we didn't want to do the normal kind of things that pub bands do so we're trying to find interesting music we wanted to do it to the best possible standards uh, available that we could do with five people with the equipment that we've got Hi guys, we're just setting up at, uh, at the old town of Holton. This is uh, the band doing their stuff. This is the, uh, the, the venue. Typical pub. And uh, hopefully it'll fill up later on. It'll be a really good night. So when we got the actual set in place, in the background we'd also been discussing how we're going to present this to, uh, to, to, to the audience in, in a pub or a club. Well, we decided to do our own sound using a small PA system, using the back line of bass guitars and keyboards going through the PA as well as vocals and keeping it incredibly simple. But we wanted to produce a good quality sound that, wasn't gonna, that was not gonna be too loud to make it unenjoyable for the, for the public that are gonna come up along and watch. So it's basically quality sound, uh, simple setup. Hi guys, just, just on a sound check at the Old Town Hall at Colton. Uh, it's a bit crammed on the stage, and I'm just giving a quick view of the area. There we go. This is uh, the playing area at the moment, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit tight. The pub's beginning to fill up a little bit. This is the rig for tonight, which is just there. And uh, yeah, it should be a good gig. I'll see you soon. So we got the ball rolling with, with the gigs quite soon on. Um, we've played uh, all over the Fylde Coast in the last 12 months, 
the, the gigs are picking up uh, very quickly. The name, the Cooper Collective, is getting well known, and uh, things are picking up nicely. And uh, this video is basically just to illustrate a typical pub gig which we did uh, a few a few weeks ago in Polton the Fylde. <laughs> That was a bit uh, unusual, the um, toilets are a bit interesting, getting changed there, so uh, all bloody water and everything, but I stuck a shirt on and uh, ready to get going very shortly, so uh, we'll get somebody to start filming in a bit, I've got a GoPro set up on my amp, I'm not sure how that's going to go, but uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. First set done. Um, yeah, really, really good. Crowd enjoyed it. Um, I absolutely loved it, and uh, hopefully we've got some video to show you about that anyway. Um, one or two minor mistakes, but then again, that's what it's all about. Um, I was really, really pleased with that. Can't wait for set two. See you soon. That was superb. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, really, really good. Uh, loved it. Crowd loved it. One or two bits and pieces that they sort of tightened up a little bit. But that's what it's all always going to be. It's never going to be perfect, but uh, we try to be perfect. Um, but having said that, really, really enjoyable. See you soon. I had certainly a really nice surprise that night. The surprise was that, was that when I was a young lad, um, basically playing guitar um, as best as I could at home, listening to White Snake uh, with that 1987 album, because that had just come out. So we're talking late 1980s. And my first introduction to a live pub band was indeed Stiff Richard, which if you're into the Blackpool band scene, everybody will know Mole, Rob from Stiff Richard. Uh, they used to play the Royal Oak at Blackpool on a Friday night, sorry, Saturday night. It's Friday night at the Mariners, if anybody can remember the Mariners before it burnt down. And um, 
I first saw them at the Gardener's Arms at Thornton on a Sunday night back in the back in the day really and that was the period of my life I thought I want to have a go at that myself so I quickly was moving on from playing the guitar in, in the in my bedroom at my mum's house to uh, basically playing guitar in pubs at an incredibly young age and that's how it all started but the surprise for me at the old town hall that night was Mole from Stiff Richard got up with the Cooper Collective and I have to say what an absolute privilege that was for me to play alongside Mole in a five piece band on stage doing a bit of Rainbow and I thought it was really good and it is just such a memorable occasion and that's one for the bank. <laughs> So on the whole, just on reflection of the night uh, at the gig, um, yeah, really good night. Um, the crowd loved it. Um, I really enjoyed it. You can see that the band worked together really, really well. We have a good time. And when you do all that rehearsal and practice and get things as best as you possibly can do, it makes the gig easier and more enjoyable so you can have a bit of fun and a good bit of a laugh as well. Obviously, uh, we've had to stop our gigs for the time being, as has everybody else has had to. Um, but at the end of the day, it's what we need to do. So keep tuned in. I'll be pushing some more videos out there soon about guitars, uh, the, the guitars that I use uh, in the set. Uh, and I'll be doing some incredibly boring technical um, <laughs> videos on them if you can bear with, if you can bear it uh, but we'll, we'll see you soon but uh, be safe see you soon